Welcome to another episode of Jay Leno's Garage. This is, I guess, a restoration blog. This is the unsung hero of the garage. This is Pear Blix. <laughs> Pear does all the painting. He's done all the cars we do here at the shop. Uh, the Tornado, uh, uh, Daimler. He's doing the Lotus right now, and uh, he does it with Sada products. This is Tony Lammer, am I saying it right? Yes. Tony Lammer. And what is your exact title? You are? Director of Sales and Marketing. Director of Sales and Marketing, OK. Uh, this is out of my area. I have no patience for painting. I'm one of those guys that just quickly do it and always screw it up and I have to do it again. Uh, Pear has a lot of patience. He does all the <laughs> sanding and the finishing and we couldn't do it without these Sada products. So tell us what we have here. Let's, let's start over here. For, you know, first we should start with our booth. The folks at Sada hooked us up with a place called Marchant Motors up in Minnesota and uh, we got this booth from them. And you know, you can find these around the country fairly cheaply. If you bought one of these new, it would be thirty dollars or $40,000. I think we paid something like $2,500 or $3,000 for this booth. Uh, we cleaned it up. As you see, we put the Sada Airlines in it. And we get, essentially, a brand new booth for the tenth of the cost. So uh, the kind of stuff is out there. There's bargains if you look for them. Uh, even though $2,500 is still a lot of money, it's not a brand new booth. And they don't really wear out. So you can find this kind of stuff. There are a lot of shops that go out of business, and this kind of stuff comes up fairly cheaply. And we have their filtration system here. This is our filtration system. Explain what we have here. What we have here, it's a three-stage filter. We call it our SADA 400 series. But it cleans the air clean enough so that you can breathe the air. Mm -hmm. So if you're painting in the booth, you have good, clean air coming into your lungs, as well, obviously, as it gives you breathing air quality for your painting. So you're not blowing debris through old airlines. Uh, you're not blowing rust or contamination particles or oil or moisture into your paint job. So it keeps the paintwork clean, making it easier later. Yeah, I'm always amazed that guys that can paint a car in their garage or even outside in their driveway. Yeah. Uh, and, and they constantly have to keep going back and resanding and, and doing it over and over again because of contamination. This is why you need a good filtration system, so you only have to do it once, correct? Yes, and, the, and it filters finer than anyone's. It's all the way down to 0 0.01 micron, which is down to vapor form, so it, it definitely keeps and it And these what, unscrew and the filters inside? Yeah, so inside this one is a cleanable filter cartridge. Yeah. The other two are replaceable. Oh, okay. All right, very good. What do we have here? This is uh, aluminum piping. It's called Danam Air. It's a push-to-connect technology, so you, you get the pipe you cut the pipe to the length that you need it. It just presses into the fittings, and it's plumbed. And so that's what we've well, put into this whole yeah. shop. That's yeah. what we have here at the shop. Here, take a look. We put this in a while ago. And uh, this works incredible. So we can have air anywhere in the shop. Next, this is our breathing hood. It's called a Vision 2000 hood. It gives you supplied air respiration. It's uh, made to fit in a, as a loose fitting hood so that you don't have to, because in a professional shop, they have to be fit tested if they have, wear a tight fitting mask. This one being loose fitting, it allows them to wear it whether they have a facial hair or a beard or whatever size right. their face is. It completely covers their hair, their face, their eyes. It has a tear off shield on it that's removable so that you can, uh, when you get overspray on it, you can take it off and oh, replace that. So yeah. the next time you paint with it, you have a good clean vision. Also the inside, there's hygienic inserts inside that are uh, when they get dirty, you peel that off and throw it away and put a clean one on so you yeah. don't have uh, sweat or dirt. Uh, and it blows air through a belt unit that connects to your filtration system to a hose. And this just plugs into this, and it uh, blows good clean air through this. So it not only does it give you clean air to breathe so that you don't have paint fumes, right. but it also cools inside the mask. So it oh, keeps okay. it nice and cool when it's hot in that paint right. booth. You know, those of us grew up in the 50s and 60s, uh, painters in the old days didn't live very long. Right. You know, they lived to about 52 years old, 53 years old, and they get emphysema, and you go, oh, geez, why are these guys dropping off? You know, like glass blowers, you know? They didn't really live too long. And now, with this filtration system, you're, you're probably breathing cleaner air than you would outside, huh? Absolutely, and it, it cleans it so there's no hydrocarbons, there's no oil, yeah, there's no yeah. any of the paint fumes, so it's good for your health. And what is this here? This is a, a little item we came out with this past year called a Danam air vac and what that does is there's a fitting that screws into the end of this mm. you connect it to your hose and when you turn the valve on it creates a vacuum so if you do you're spraying clear coat or wet paint and you get d debris or dirt lands in it or a bug you can vacuum that piece out oh, very and cool. then put more clear into it and fill the little void and it uh, saves ha a lot of sanding work later mm, very cool now this is your area pair the spray guns yeah the spray guns is really nice I, I really like these Sarah guns yeah they are really nice now we have, what do you have, different versions here? I yeah, there's some different variety. The, yeah. I mean, starting out with everything from a primer gun that's dedicated for spraying primer to get a high build surfacer laid down on the car so that you can sand it smooth. 
um, and to do that with using very little overspray so you don't have a mess. If you're just trying to paint a fender, yeah. you don't have to cover the whole car. For the home guy, not the yep. professional, the guy yep. who does, has you know one car he's restoring, which, which, uh, which one of these guns would be best for him? Probably the, the one that I would suggest is we have, um, if you need one gun to do everything, mm -hmm. we have a gun called a Sada Jet 4000. Um, in an RP version, which is a reduced pressure version, yeah. it uses very low CFM, so if they have a small compressor, they're able to use that. Okay. And you can use this for base coat, for, for clear coat, for single stage, for sealer, even spot prime if you had to. So if they were going to pick one gun, our Sada Jet 4000 is our elite spray gun. And okay. This one you'll see has kind of got a custom finish to it that's overlapping Sada gun bodies to make a camouflage. Yeah, so it's camouflage, it. so if you don't yep. want the wife to know you're in the garage painting, you have the camouflage one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why you need to camouflage, but it's camouflage. Yeah. Very this cool. is something new, huh? Yeah, that is, uh, you can add a digital gauge to the rear so that you know exactly, so every time you have to paint a car, you know what pressure it's at, so your color doesn't change. Oh, so it's very to cool. be very precise. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Very cool. What else do we have here in these uh, in these guns? Anything else different here? Um, well, there's different versions. We have them yeah. so that you have that same 4000 available in an HPLP gun, which high volume, low pressure, uh, reduces overspray even more. Um, but it also is available with the digital gauge built right into the handle. And what do these run? How much do these run? The digital guns are about $889. The right. standard are about $730. Okay. And how do you clean one of these when you're done? Sada's done a nice job at designing these. They have just a one-turn air cap, and it's just a real short passage that you rinse out with either acetone or a, or a thinner, or if it's waterborne paint with a water cleaner, and then acetone, and use a, a nylon brush and clean them out. But it's a real short fluid passage, so it's cool. very easy to clean. And then this can be adjusted at the rear of the spray gun to adjust your pressure so that you know exactly what PSI you're spraying at. Now, this is kind of cool. This is a... Uh, That's for an artist. This is, well, this is, if, you, if you're a crack addict, you'll love <laughs> this pipe. Now, what, 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 what do we have here? Explain it's, it. This is called a Sotograph 4. Well, the cops it's, show it's, up. Explain yeah. what that is. That's a, it's an airbrush. Um, and the airbrush is made for doing fine detail work, for touching up small areas, for doing artwork. Uh, for doing small graphics. Don't leave this on the dashboard of your car, okay? Yeah. No. When the cop pulls you over, you don't want to have this sitting there. <laughs> so they're available in different sizes. This yeah. one is a siphon model, so some so people like to spray. So this is a striping or? For doing artwork, all of the paint yeah. work that you see hanging wow, up in your shop. Cool. Yeah, they do the fine detail work yeah, with that. really neat. And it looks like a real quality product. And the one nice. thing that is unique on this model that no one else has is there's a shield on the front to protect your fluid tip from getting damaged. Um, and, but anybody that does tight detail usually takes that off to expose that tiny fluid tip, yeah. and they lose this. Ours, okay. we made it so it reverses, so that screws back onto the brush so that you don't lose that piece. So when you're doing your paint work, you can get the fine detail, but you don't lose your air cap. Cool. So. Very cool. Very cool. And there are three different versions of these? Are these yep. all the same? Here? No, there's three versions. One is a gravity feed, one is a siphon feed, and one okay. the cup comes out of the side. Um, and so it's just for personal preference how people like to spray with that. Cool, very good. Well, see, this is uh, this makes your job a little easier, Pat. Yeah, I yeah. hope so. <laughs> well, you see how nicely uh, our things have turned out here. We do all yeah. our own painting and everything in the shop. The reason we did that was we get tired of borrowing other people's spray booths, and then when it doesn't come out right, you can't get mad at them because they did you a favor. So. You know, if you start with quality products, you'll end up with quality work. So, Tom, thank you very yeah, much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.